today's video, we're going to be checking out a noisy band box. There's something inside there that sounds like a desk bell at a hotel. I don't know if that would be necessarily the case, but today we're going to be checking out another band box. Uh, I believe this to be the band box possibly for December, as we are now early, early into January. If you've already had a chance to subscribe to the band box, then skiddly do for you. If you haven't subscribed to the band box, make sure you do so because you're missing out on a ton of cool autographs, collectibles, and more from your favorite movies, uh, comic books, collectibles, and so much more. There, of course, is the original band box and the horror band box, so there's a little bit of something for everybody. Let's get this opened up, skiddly do, and see what we got inside for the band box. I'm going to grab uh, a knife here. I happen to have Hank. Cut it away from ourselves. We don't need blood all over the place for the beginning of the new year. On the front, there's your social media outlets. You can head over to facebook.com forward slash the band box, Twitter at the band box, and also on Instagram as well. Opening it up, we first get ourselves some tissue paper. We don't necessarily need that. We can put that to the side unless somebody wants to keep that. Let me know. I'll, I'll mail it to you. Will he actually mail it to them? Probably not. Uh, this was the thing that was rattling inside, and I happen to wonder, it is, it's the Krampus Bell. There's some significance to this, because I believe they have sent the Krampus Bell before, and I couldn't find mine. I put it out for Christmas time last year, and I couldn't find it this year to be putting it out. This is not something that you would want the real thing in hand, because that probably would be signifying that the Krampus has come a knocking, come down your chimney, and wreaked havoc in your family. Uh, a good movie, Krampus, a little on the slow side. It paces itself a little bit slow, but all around a really fun movie. And I got myself the Krampus Bell, not the original, not the real thing, but a pretty good, pretty close proximity. Krampus Bell. That's what the desk bell was. It wasn't a desk bell, it was the Krampus Bell. I see this. This is sealed. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to open this up. Uh, it's an autograph. And on the front we've got a drawn image of Pennywise the Clown. The new Pennywise from the recent released uh, It. On the back it says, You now own a one-of-a-kind hand-painted sketch card by professional sketch artist Bianca Thompson. It says one-of-a-kind... Now, how many images, how many of these has she actually done? The card is authentically painted and signed by the artist. Would it, be, would it be far fetched to believe that this is one card that has ever been produced? It says one of a kind. Maybe she's drawn a whole bunch of these. I don't really know, but that's really cool. It's kind of in like a press pass badge kind of holder, or I guess something also for cards, like if you had a you know, trading card or something like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. This makes me think so far we're entering into horror town, even though the box actually indicates I don't see horror anywhere on the BAM box. So this probably is the horror BAM box, also indicated by the fact that we've got ourselves a pin, a limited edition enamel pin, only 250 made. There's the back of it. It is, you know, I thought it might have been. It's Silent Night, Deadly Night, and there's Mother Superior. William. Now, that was also a movie I watched at Christmas time. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I also watched Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, which I find has a more laughable plot and somewhat more enjoyable. Although you have to kind of get over the fact that it's, you know, it's pretty much just a repeat of the first movie, about two thirds of the movie. Here we have the Creature from the Black Lagoon, United States of American Dollar. Don't try to cash this. This is $1 million. Don't try to take this to a convenience store or some place of business to try to use this as legal tender. Because I can tell you, brothers, it ain't legal tender. Not sure why I sound like Hulk Hogan there for a second. Ah, grrr, says the back of the dollar bill. It actually doesn't say that. It, it Well, it's written in there. I said that. A legitimate 1 million smackaroos is now in my possession. Also got ourselves a 1-Up card, a congratulations card. You got a 1-Up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item inside your box marked with the yellow. Then we got a couple of autographs. Uh, the first autograph, let's see here, let's see here. 
Hmm. Hmm. Drawing. Hmm. I'm drawing a blank. I am drawing a blank as to who this individual is. And at the moment I flip it around and look on the back, I'll be like, right. Let's flip it around to the back. This 8x10 photo has been hand-signed by Chad Lindbergh, who played Matthew in I Spit on Your Grave. It was signed during a private signing with the band box. Well, that would also explain it. I've never seen I Spit on Your Grave. I think there was also two I Spit on Your Graves. Maybe there, yeah, this I think was the remake, wasn't it? It's an autograph. That's always a good thing to include. Even though I unfortunately never... Generally, I always watch the movies that I get the autographs for. This is one instance where I haven't seen I Spit on Your Grave. We also have, oh, I like this, a Freddy vs. Jason print featuring both of the iconic char characters, iconic killers from the movie. And down below the boiler room fight scene, some would say, how is that even possible? How could Freddy have defeated Jason with use of water? Jason lives and dwells in water. How could they possibly have had Freddy defeat Jason with water? The only thing I can think of... And this is my little adding of the pot of ideas. I'm going to throw my hat into it. Uh, I would say the reasoning why Jason was afraid of water, and yet he lives in water and moves in water and basically sneaks up on people underwater is because Jason never sleeps. He's always fully aware, fully conscience, uh, conscious. So if you ever to put Jason out, if you ever put him to sleep, then perhaps the things that we he would have experienced as fearful, say as a child, would have been water. That, I think, is what, if you get into his subconscious, I think that's why he was afraid of water. That's my guess. That, that's what I'm throwing in. That's a really neat print, though, by the way. It's out of 1,500. It's 921, to be exact, out of 1,500, complete with the autograph on the back. This BAM Horror Box Fan Art Collection Art Print Freddy vs. Jason has been hand-signed by artist Chris Kutcha and is guaranteed to be authentic. Says the card. Says I. So that's a pretty coll good collection of things. I just want to see if there's nope, nothing else in there. To correct myself for my opening entry into this review, I indicated that this is the original BAM Box. This is BAM Box Horror. Not indicated anywhere from what I can see on the box itself, but clearly by the contents, one would easily deduce that it's BAM Box Horror. So let's have a look at the things that we got inside. We got two prints, one an artist print, one an actor's print from a movie I've never seen. If you've seen I Spit on Your Grave, let me know down below. Or is it I Spit on My Grave? I think it's I Spit on Your I Spit on Your Grave. Not mine, yours, even though I'm pointing in the same direction. Uh, also got ourselves Million Smackaroos, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Don't spend this. It's worth nothing. You may actually even find yourself being arrested. I don't think you can use doctored tender in local establishments or really any establishments. A Mother Superior. Oh, Mother Superior, I have something for you. Mother Superior pin from the first Silent Night, Deadly Night, not Silent Night, Deadly Night 2, where... I have, she had, what did she have, cancer or something? And her whole face looked like it was chewed up by a dog. I, I guess they were trying to do that so they could justify why it was a different actress. Mother Superior, Silent Night, Deadly Night. Our, also got ourselves a card signed by the artist. One of a kind. Maybe that means this is a one card ever released and I happen to hold it in my hand here. And lastly, no dinner bell, but it's the bell to summon the end of Christmas and Krampus. That's a pretty neat looking bell. My, I think my favorite item from this this box, this unboxing, is the Krampus bell. Let me know down below what your favorite item was in the contents that we've just gone over literally just a minute ago. And of course, certainly stay tuned as well. More videos will be coming your way as well. If you haven't had a chance, here comes the here comes the, the press release at the end, the, the little spiel. If you haven't had a chance, also hit this little subscribe button. It's about this big, and it's right below this video. Hit the little subscribe button down below. That way you'll never miss future videos coming onto this channel. If you also want to head over to my main page, scroll down the section that, that has the videos. If there's a video maybe that you haven't had a chance to watch, feel free to check it out and let me know in the comments section of the video. I always like reading new comments in old videos. New videos to come, guys. Stay tuned for those. 
Thanks for watching. See you next time.